Morning Stim Tubs by Linda Powell. What are morning tubs? Morning tubs provide open-ended play. Much of the school day for children involves following directions and performing tasks in a particular way. Working with morning tubs, students get that much needed freedom to play and explore on their own, independent of adult guidance and direction. A morning tub is a great way to offer this play-based opportunity to explore, create, and communicate. This is a non-threatening way to start the day. Morning tubs help reduce the length of your morning routine and get students excited about the day, and it also encourages collaboration. What are stem bins? Stim bins are plastic boxes filled with an engineering manipulative of your choice, such as Lego bricks, pattern blocks, Dixie cups, toothpicks, Play-Doh, popsicle sticks, and Velcro, among other materials that students can use to make various designs of their own. When you pass out base tin blocks, linking cubes, or any other math manipulative to elementary students for the first time, what do you expect they'll do? Chances are they will immediately begin building towers, structures, and patterns without being prompted. They will communicate with their peers about their creations, many even combining materials to build something taller or stronger. Why? We ask. Because engineering is already part of the DNA of young learners. Elementary school is perfect time to introduce the engineering design process through simple STEM activities because it builds on children's natural ability to create. When we use STEM bins for elementary students, we provide an invitation for students to explore and engineer through play using materials that most teachers already have in their classrooms. STEM bins can be placed on an easily accessible shelf in the classroom or inside a classroom's makerspace. During a designated time of the day, students can take a stem bin or two to their seat or a carpet area and get a quiet moment to engineer independently or with a partner. Teachers can create cards with different structures for students to build or create with. Students will use these materials in the box to construct as many different structures on the cards as they can. And instead of just being busy, students are engaged in creative, complex tasks and are encouraged to think like inventors. Spatial learners, logical learners, all will love exploring the different possibilities for the building materials. Even better, the prep and management of the teacher's part is minimal. Most materials are non-consumable and the task cards are interchangeable with nearly any building material. Did I say paperless, no prep morning work? I most certainly did. STEM bins are a wonderful way to engage and wake up those little brains each morning, especially if your students arrive in the classroom at varying times. This is also a great time to allow students to collaborate with partners. No copies for you, plus creative exploration for them equals a win-win way to start off the day. How will students be rotated through the centers? There are many options on how to have the students move through the centers. The first would be to allow the students to pick a morning tub as they arrive at the school in the morning. If a teacher was selecting this option, I would have extra tubs available for the students to select from. I would also encourage that the teacher to have the students select a different tub each day. This is the method that I would use in my classroom. Another option would be to have the students work with the same materials and compare their designs. These materials could be added to each day, which would encourage students to build on their designs over the course of the week. Teachers could also change out the tubs each day, which would be a new exploration every day. Teachers can also assign the students which tub that they will be working with each day. This would allow the teachers to assign tubs to the students by the challenge that the student needs. Student Accountability in each STEM bin, there needs to be a list of materials that are in the tub so that the students can make sure that they return the correct resources to the tub that they are working with. I would also include a STEM journal for the students to list or draw the STEM projects that they complete. This would also allow the teacher to track and monitor which STEM bins have been used by the students. 
Teachers have several options to add STEM bins to their classroom. Teachers may purchase pre-made kits. These kits can be purchased from several different sites. I selected the ones from Oriental Trading to demonstrate what different STEM bins would look like. The first kit is a STEM craft stick building set with 484 pieces for $21.99. This kit contains double-sided cards with a simple design in green on one side and a more challenging one in red on the other side. The students will use the included supplies to bring each design to life. This is a great fun hands-on activity. In this set, the students will understand shape building and exploration. This set includes nine six inch by nine inch paper cards, one inch foam cubes, and six inch wooden craft sticks. This kit is also by Oriental Trading and is the Zoo Challenge STEM kit and can be purchased for $34.99. This kit allows students to build their very own zoo. A hands-on learning game that supports STEM curriculum. This activity asks students to use the provided supplies to complete challenges like building a tower for monkeys or a shelter for the polar bear. Once they have completed a task, they will move on to the next challenge. In this kit, there are 50 wood clothespins, 150 natural wood craft sticks, 24 vinyl zoo animal action figures, four primary yarn bundles, 50 wooden spools, 20 paper zoo challenge cards, and a black locking storage bin with a lid. The next activity is a STEM motion and friction activity that can be purchased for $34.99 from Oriental Trading. In this kit, students learn and understand the concepts of motion and friction. This kit features three different heights and various materials and fabrics. This activity is designed for students to test and observe how different materials and fabrics affect the speed of cars. Each strip has Velcro that adheres directly onto the wooden ramp. It includes eight strips of different materials and six plain strips for decorating with your own materials. This kit contains 21 pieces of wood board, 14 different ramps, and three stick structures. In the Stick Structure STEM Kit, students will learn through the process of experimentation and trial and error. This is a must-have for classroom STEM activities. This challenge encourages students to piece together 2D and 3D shapes using simple sticks. Students will piece each shape together with the help of marshmallows or modeling dough, which is not included in the kit. The students take note of what makes up each figure, which will include the number of faces, edges, vertices, sides, and angles. This kit includes 24 double-sided 7-inch by 5-inch cardstock cards and 150 4-inch and 5-inch wooden dowels. This kit can be purchased for $19.99. The final kit is the STEM Challenge Kit that students can use to build an igloo for a Yeti for the purchase price of $21.99. The Yeti has lost its home to an avalanche. The students will build an igloo home using the materials in the kit. The Teacher Resource Guide offers background information, lesson suggestions, and thought-provoking questions you can ask students. There is enough material to build 10 igloos. The STEM challenge makes a great group classroom activity. This kit includes styrofoam, marshmallow shapes, and wooden dowels. The total cost of these five pre-assembled STEM kits would cost a total of $133.95 plus tax and shipping. I like the open metal storage bins, and these can be added to as needed for additional STEM bins. These storage bins are $32.99 for a set of six metal containers. It would take four sets of these in a total of $131.96, which would purchase 24 of these stackable bins. I have listed the materials and prices of some common materials that are used in stem bins. To purchase enough materials to make 20 stem bins would run $719.48 plus shipping and tax. 
I think it would be beneficial to ask the community to donate additional items on the list, but I realize that the majority of these items would need to be purchased. Teachers can purchase additional STEM kit plans from the Teachers Pay Teachers website if there is a need to gather additional ideas for STEM bins. The materials in these bins can be added to or switched out as needed to keep students interested in new STEM activities that will enrich their learning in the classroom. I will include a printed list of these items. The total cost of materials to fund the five pre-made bins and materials to make 20 additional bins would be $985.39 plus tax and shipping. I would suggest that the budget for the initial cost to be set at $1,250, which would allow for any incidentals to be purchased during the school year. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my speech on morning tubs and why they're important in the classroom. Thank you for your time.